Popovic's Flex Fly. Part here. It just shows you what these Flex Flies look like and why they are so appealing. As you can see with that inner core of fleece that's on the inside here, that allows this outer, outer layer of material to stay on the outside and not get stuck from one side to the other or stuck to the shank. So it creates a quite a nat natural feel to the fly. All right. So that's the whole purpose and that's the uniqueness of this particular style. Materials used for this flex fly. Tray combs, 1-0 short shank hook. Fleece, a short piece. Some Steve Farrar special blend. Mylar eyes, we're using size two. Fine mono thread, and of course, Tough Fly Flex. This is a lot better than just leaving a bare shank or a shank with just some thread. When I finish this up, I'm gonna come up and give myself plenty of room. I have to bring the fleece in there and I gotta bring in the, the wing material. So I'm gonna stop somewhat early. I'm gonna use a nice small relatively short fleece. You don't need a whole lot. This just needs to separate um, my wing throughout the shank. Right on top of the shank. A couple of wraps and wrap that down. That's enough. That's all it is. So it's not cosmetic. So you can just throw it in there somewhat sloppy anyway. Now, I'm going to use my fine, special Ferrar blend. Pull the wraps, move it all the way around as much as I can. And open her up. Come in the middle, push that back. Sound. which is more for our blend the same thing here in this case it's going to be a wrap it on a light brown which I like but what I try to do now is on top is to spread this get an even distribution as best I can a couple wraps down bring this same thing so you're just rolling my thumb allows that to spread out and I can wrap back to keep it under control and that's it that's all I have to do I'm going to do that my, my flex here and start to squeeze it out but I want to apply from the eye of the hook back. Just apply it here and then roll it backward. On this side I can come in. So you use that curvature of that uh, the dispenser here. Now you don't press okay. this down hard. Now you can see the body braid that's on that shank. This is the underside. It's one place I can make this fly have a little more durability. So I'm going to put this flex and I'm going to push it down to the shank. All right. That's going to firm up. All right. Now I go back to everything else and I'm going to take this flex and move it again. Yeah. Just get a good beginning coat. Nothing too heavy. Just enough so that it's at least uh, all the way around. Now, once you got that initial coat, it's going to come in here with the blue light. Keep it close. Take my time. Good. even touch it with the light. So a lot of times I can notice with this wing material that's kind of have a lot of waves in it.
can be somewhat of a nuisance as you're making these types, but don't get frustrated. Just stay with it and you'll be fine. I'll put a little, to adjust it. a little bit of fresh stuff on there. And it's something that can grab these eyes a little better. Let me get them around. Okay. Now come to the other side. Do the same thing. I'll put a little, see that? A little dollop somewhere in here. That allows me to get, make Once that's done, easier. all I have to do is just bring in some more flex. Put that around. A little different than the first one. I'm going to be applying it, applying it as I go back. I'm going to let it just sort of sit in one, hopefully one kind of a way. Then this becomes a little, becomes a little bit more like a surf candy to the point to where I got enough of material all the way around and then I'm just going to try to fix the contour with my bodkin. Get it to go where I want it to go to look the best. Now, the one nice thing about this material is that it seeks its own level. It, it will run a little bit so you can let it sit there and it will smooth out by itself a lot of the little tiny gaps that it might be, might have. They'll run into one another look and give you a real nice finished look. But just right now it's just like working with epoxy that take the light and start. Finish that baby off. Now you gotta be thorough, you know, all this hype about it's gotta be fast, fast, fast. My goodness, this is fast enough. But I like to make sure that I'm thorough with this. So I don't have to come back to problems. And that should do it. Okay, that's the flex fly. If you just take now alcohol, rubbing alcohol and the paper and towel, start from the rear of the fly towards the eye. Don't wipe it the other way because what you're trying to do with this alcohol rub is to remove the residue that is left. And you don't want to, if you go the opposite way, then you're just going to take it off of the fly and redistribute hard as nails or the new top coat by Tough Fly to finish this all off. And that'll take care of that and finish the fly bait all off. Whatever you like from small baits to, I don't like to use them in too large because I don't want to use all that much material, that kind of material for larger baits. So mid-sized baits, even small mullet would be good. That would be about as large as I'd want them. Um, but for small baits, uh, bay anchovies, silver sides, mullet, mackerel, um, you can use this uh, to some terrific results. So choose the kind of wing material you like. I use bucktail. I've used all kinds of synthetics, many other materials than just the, the Steve Farrar fiber. But I just happen to like this the best. It's the lightest. It's got enough of um, core fibers of the, of the slinky fiber and with the nice light flash fibers of angel hair blended together. It's a perfect match for this fly. So give that a try sometime. Part here is just shows you what these flex flies look like and why they are so appealing. You can see with that inner core of fleece that's on the inside here, that allows this outer outer layer of material to stay on the outside and not get stuck from one side to the other or stuck to the shank. So it creates a quite a nat natural feel to the fly. All right. So that's the whole purpose and that's the uniqueness of this particular style. And as you can see, one other thing here is you can see the firmness underneath that. It's solid. It's solid around the eyes, around the head, around the front, where the wraps are, and along the belly. It's a solid piece where it's only the top part that's actually really flexible and soft. So we put a little bit of durability back into the fly by doing that construction the way we did. So there you've got the flex fly. Hope you enjoyed that one.